If you're like me, you wonder about random crap in Tarkov quite a bit. For example, I wonder what kind of underwear Rashala's guards wear. I wonder just exactly how much SJ6 stims actually help, or how much faster traversing maps is with them versus without them. Uh, and after making our recent video on headset detection ranges, I definitely wonder how much faster running is compared to walking, since we now know that running nearly doubles your audio emission radius. An episode of Tarkovology is going to answer those questions. Well, except for the underwear one, of course. Before we do, if you have a question about Tarkov, throw it in the comments below. Maybe we'll answer it in the next Tarkovology video. And as always, if this video helps you at all, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the Twitch channel at Omni underscore Actual. We stream most evenings from 6pm PST to 10pm PST, of course link in the description below. So I wasted about an hour of my life testing every way to get from point A, which was military base CP and customs, to point B, which was the crossroads extraction, so that you don't have to. Uh, uh, the approximate distance of this path is about 1100 meters in game, and it was a decent representation of an average path from a spawn in to an extract. Since I'm a huge loser and have two accounts, I was able to do it with not only max strength and endurance, but also on an account with zero on bolt. After all that testing, I can say with absolute certainty that if you're using SJ6 stims at or after max endurance, you're wasting your money. Additionally, you might want to reconsider time spent sprinting because it's not saving you as much time as you think it is, and it's doubling the distance at which you're sending out audio. Before we get into exactly why, let's cover the boring at zero endurance, it took us 396 seconds to walk, 318 seconds to run without SJ6, and 245 seconds to run with SJ6 from point A to B. Saving a minute and 13 seconds over the duration of the stim isn't too bad, actually. Translated into distance, that's about an extra 240 meters over the duration of the stim, which is about four minutes. However, these numbers get a lot less impressive when we look at the differences at 51 endurance. At 51 endurance, it took us 369 seconds to walk, 238 seconds to run without SJ6, and 218 seconds to run with SJ6. Only 20 seconds of time savings, which only translates to about an additional distance of 100 meters. Why is this? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but if we're to believe one of the more talented streamers, our data should not be coming out this way. Gain that much from them because they cap at 60 from stems. So you're literally completely bypassing this skill and just directly boosting stamina. Just, there's no cap to boosting because it's not a skill it's just like something that you have so sj6 directly boosts stamina it bypasses endurance entirely if he's accurate in his claim that there's no cap on stamina then really the only difference between using this stim at max endurance and at zero endurance would be the additional 11 stamina we're gaining at zero endurance over the nine at 51 because endurance is getting capped at 60. i do find it hard to believe that only 11 endurance difference could nearly double the effectiveness of the stim so i surmise that there actually is a cap on stamina and once you reach elite endurance it's somewhere close to that if not capped at that time the reason for the marginal increase over just sprinting with max endurance in time and distance is in my opinion a combination of the plus two stamina regen and the nine additional stamina not the plus 30 to stamina so the short version is you're spending 60k to go an extra 100 meters over four minutes after you've maxed out stamina not worth but that's just my opinion i'll never be as good as ring war obviously so i just have to play as smart as possible the other data is also interesting. I thought for sure there would be a more substantial time difference in going all the way across the map when comparing sprinting to walking, but there just isn't that big of a difference. If we completely omit stopping to loot, kill, inspect, and otherwise not run headlong into situations that would get us murdered, then sprinting the distance only saves us a little over a minute from start to finish early wipe at low skill levels, and only a minute and a half later in wipe when we're maxed out. Even if we double this distance over a map say like shoreline uh, and that's about 2,000 meters it only increases the early wipe time saved to a minute and a half and late wipe to two and a half minutes the short version of all this is unless you're a combat god you should probably reconsider how much you run in raid because you're literally doubling your audio radius when running just to save what probably amounts to a minute per map maybe a little bit more when taking into consideration looting and killing if you want to see what we mean by your audio detection radius just check the video that we did on headset ranges it should show up right about here well that's all i got for you today i, I hope you enjoyed the information don't forget to like and subscribe and again if you have an idea for a test 
else you'd like to see done or just have a Tarkov question, just throw it in the comments below. Hope everyone has good raids and until next time, peace.